Olivia's angry because the dogs are getting a bath and she is not, so she's out there getting really angry. But anyway, here is dinner. I made a new recipe. This is fajita roll-ups. I found this on Pinterest. I'll link it down below. I added some rice and also some chickpeas and green beans. All I did was add a couple of bouillon cubes into the water with some minced onion. And then I made some other fajita veggies to go on top of our chicken. It's just the leftover of the um, green and yellow peppers that are inside the chicken. And then some onions. I just caramelized these in olive oil with a little bit of salt and pepper. Um, the only thing I did to the chicken now that I think about it is I used boneless skinless chicken thighs as the chicken and I also didn't use a red pepper. I used yellow and green. For dinner tonight I made chicken and wild rice casserole and I did it in this because it was going to take too long to do in the oven. I went ahead and made the rice in the rice cooker. This is just an, an aroma rice cooker. Pretty sure we got that on Amazon super cheaply. Um, so I made two cups of rice prepared. It's a lot more than two cups. Then I cut up some baby carrots, some celery, and some onion, and then sauteed that in olive oil with salt, pepper, and garlic. And then I just added two cans of cream of chicken soup, one of the cans full of unsweetened coconut milk, and then three chopped up chicken thighs. And then when the rice was done, I just mixed it in. So it is a little bit soupier than had I done it in the oven, but we have to eat. It's already 6.30. I'm showing you guys my lunch too. I went ahead and made a big pot of the French onion soup. I finally made it. I just wanted to show you guys how I topped it. I usually warm up the soup and then I put a piece of toast and then a slice or two of provolone cheese on the top. And then I stick this in the oven on broil and then it gets nice and bubbly on the top. You could do this with any kind of cheese that you want. The recipe I use says provolone cheese and then sprinkle Parmesan cheese over top. I never get the Parmesan cheese. It's not one of my favorites, so I just do the provolone. The first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and get my salmon cooking. I set these in the fridge. They're just like freezer portions. I went ahead and did four so that we could make a lot of salmon cakes. I'm going to be basically using a crab cake recipe that I really like. It's just a Cheesecake Factory copycat recipe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put some foil down, stick these in the oven on 350 until they're cooked. Then they will flake really easily and I can just mix up my crab cakes. The salmon cakes are all pressed out. I just scoop them with a medium cookie scoop and then press them down. And I'm gonna stick these in the fridge and then I will cook these for dinner tonight. That way dinner is gonna be super duper easy. I've got the broccoli already prepped. I've just gotta cover these in breadcrumbs and cook them tonight. And then I also can just pop the broccoli in the oven. Tonight's meal is super duper easy. It's just spaghetti. I took a bag of frozen veggies with a little bit of ground beef and then added pasta sauce and cooked some linguine. This is the second night we are having this and it's just, it gets better the next night. I've got the steamer out because I made some um, steamed broccoli for Olivia. This is the rotini bake that I had planned for tonight. It's just rotini that I cooked al dente and then in the skillet while it was cooking. Um, this skillet actually can go in the oven, so I just baked it in here too. I sauteed some zucchini and then I added a bag of frozen veggies and one chicken breast that I had shredded. I cooked it in the crock pot earlier today. Then just mixed in some mozzarella when I mixed in the al dente rigatoni noodles and then just stuck it in the oven for about 20 minutes until um, it got nice and baked together. I also sprinkled some mozzarella on the top. Tonight for dinner I made chicken pot pie. I used a bag of frozen veggies and then a half a bag of French cut green beans, a can of cream of chicken soup, a can of coconut milk, and then some shredded chicken. The top is just refrigerator pie crust. We'll probably have this for two nights.